Hi everyone and good morning from outside of Minneapolis, Minnesota where today we're at the Minnesota Zoo, a zoo we've never been here before. Mm -hmm. And always exciting to go to a new zoo, check things out for the first time, see all the animals. I go by the legend of my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. I can hear some animals. Yes, I, I think those it. might be robot dinosaurs. Yes, I'm not sure, but I can hear some. Absolutely, let's go see <laughs> what we have been hearing. Inside this very large building here is the Tropics Trail. Now inside the giant building, pretty neat in here. Hiding in the back of the enclosure is a radiated tortoise. Right next to a ring-tailed lemur. Always using his little hands to grab that leaf. The tomato frog's in a really cool pose. And I love his name. Yeah. That is a pose on the West African dwarf crocodile. Love the pose on the black and white Colobus monkey. And then in this enclosure, yeah, his buddy over here is a red river hog. Just snoozing. Mm -hmm. He yawned a second ago. I do like the enclosure for the Komodo dragon. He has a nice head rest right now. Yeah. The gibbons have their own island. Some fun waterfalls here in the tropics. And a couple of ducks. There you can see a pair of rhinoceros hornbills. To tell between a female and male, it's based on their eye color. A bit of an interesting pairing, along with the Gibbon Island, you have the zoo's flamingos. Up and moving around is the Malayan taper. It's fun because they're not in a lot of zoos. They're, I'm pretty sure they're a pretty endangered species. And their noses are so cool. Moving at tortoise speed is the Asian forest tortoise. He really wants that lettuce, you can tell. Yeah, he's getting so close. And he did it. He made it to the lettuce. And he's enjoying it. Slowly, very slowly. The building's also home to a really nice aquarium. Filled with all sorts of tropical fish. I think that's a zebra shark. I think so too. And as you'd expect, there's a big underwater viewing section as well. For their very nice aquarium. There you can see the sloth moving at sloth speed. There's a pretty good sized free flight bird aviary. With some uh, pretty good sized birds as well. I believe it's one of the newer members of the zoo, and that is a tree kangaroo. Probably a good 20 feet in the air, very much living up to its name. Animal before heading out of the tropics. A sweet turtle. And that'll do it for the tropics. This is a uh, very impressive exhibit. Giant building. This one should be fun. It is going to be the Minnesota Trail. Uh, we're now from Minnesota, so excited to check out the native wildlife. This creature here is a mud puppy. Which is apparently a wildlife rare here in Minnesota. Crawling around there is an opossum. Whoa. I seen one of them at work the other day when I got there in the morning. He's walking around. Well, you could probably guess what's going to be in this enclosure. The beaver. And he's doing beaver stuff. There's a smaller oh. beaver as well. Uh -huh. Look at him. Oh. Let's see the little beavers going across the bridge. 
mix of the big beaver. Yeah, you can see the size difference on the little guy. You can see the beaver there, an animal I enjoy, and a snake slithering behind them. An animal I don't enjoy. You need a super zoom. I could barely see it on my phone. Alright, last beaver shot, I promise. See, there's two of them swimming in the water. There's also a camera that looks into the beaver's dam. And there's one in there. There is an aquarium for all fish native to the area. These guys are cool. They're so active. Oh. The way he's standing up. They hit these poses. Fresh air. This poofy creature is a North American porcupine. Whoops, I'm sorry. The wolf is taking a nap. Not the easiest thing to see with the glare, but that is, I believe, a wolverine. Looks like it is feeding time. We just threw some treats down. A very majestic looking bald eagle. Looks like a black bear. Doing cat stuff. There's a second black bear. This one is is much, much larger. Yeah, you were around there. I don't know. Two is a lot of snow monkeys. You can see a smaller one over here. Oh. <laughs> And there's plenty of snow here in Minnesota for these guys during the winter. And there are my personal favorite animal in the world, the penguin. These guys are warm weather African penguins. See a couple of them swimming down. Oh, penguins! Discovery Bay area, which is in an aquarium section. See a touch tank with some sharks, with some rays. They have a pretty good sized shark tank. Big sand tiger shark. The black tip reef shark. Of course, good sized ray. The zoo does have some dolphins. And I believe twice a day they do a dolphin training show. It's something you do need to get tickets for when you buy <laughs> when you buy your zoo tickets online. And they do sell out if you're coming on a busy day. There are a number of smaller aquariums as well. Home to some very pretty fish. These here are garden eels. They're uh, one of my favorite animals to see when you go to an aquarium. They like to bury themselves. Yeah, to they spit out rocks. Yeah, they bury themselves in there to avoid predators in the wild. The next exhibit is Russia's Grizzly Coast. Went around here is a couple of sea otters. They're very neat, very neat indeed. They have at least three. Tiger Base Camp is next. Here you can see the tiger laying about. The tiger enclosure is very, very large. The tiger is playing with something in its pool. He's doing some type of enrichment activity. Yeah. He's very confused. Yep. 
not sure what's going on. I'm not sure what that thing is. Hmm? Not the easiest creature to see, but that is a talkin'. Here are the zoo's bison. As you'd expect with a bison enclosure, they have a ton of room. Sharing it with ducks. Up on the hill are a couple of pronghorns. Another large enclosure, this time for the camels. Let's go into the llama trek. The llama trek is something I have not seen at a zoo. It is just, um, you get to walk around and there's a whole bunch of llamas. No, it's definitely uh, unique. If the llama wanted to walk right up to you, that llama could walk right up to you. There is, there's a bunch of them in here. This llama just likes to pose next to the Indian condor cutout. Yeah, he's a little bit smaller than that. I mean, talk about a primo private event space. There's fluffy llamas too. Walk around. There is a station where you can uh, feed the llamas for a couple bucks. And these llamas are just hanging out right on the path. Those are not the only animal in here. They also have a enclosure for guinea pigs. I know you could have guinea pigs as pets, but I don't have guinea pigs as pets. And they're really, really cute. And look at this village they have for them. Wandering around there, that is a coyote. For a couple of dollars, you could ride the conservation carousel. I like how it's all different animals, like a spring mantis and a capybara. The capybara is pretty cool. The bats are really cool too. There's a koala. See yours? The zoo is a really cool playground. Look at the big slide. The family farm is the next exhibit. We have made it to the farm. It's a little bit of a hike to get here. Yeah, it is. Can't have a farmyard area without goats. How cute the small sheep. This little cow was born last month. In this room, you can see a cow getting milked. And uh, more cows. There is a pig barn, and they even have the Kuni Kuni pig. There's also a bunch of smaller pigs. Pretty cool. There are also chickens on the farm. The moose is all the way in the back of its enclosure. He's not on the loose right now. No. And he is very, very, very far away. <laughs> Over here you can see the zoo's reindeer. There's also a second tiger enclosure. He's way in the back over there. Up next is the Dino Hideout. Pretty, uh, pretty solid animatronic dinosaur. The Spinosaurus, famously the villain dinosaur in Jurassic Park 3. This poor fella here both doesn't talk and he's stuck. He's stuck. Quick sand. snazzy looking blue dinosaur. I like his colors. You can't have an animatronic dinosaur do it without a T-Rex. Carnotaurus, not our dino. 
Hey Molly, what time is it? Beer 30. Indeed it is. Got the Eye of the Tiger IPA, pretty solid. By Bald Man Brewing Company, I love that name. Mm -hmm. And a fried chicken sandwich actually looks pretty good with a garlic aioli on top. New at the zoo is the Treetop Trail. This actually opened about a month or so ago. And what they did, they had an old monorail here at the zoo. That reached the end of its service life. So they took the old monorail track and replaced it as a walking path for guests. Which is nice. It is nice. Not letting it rot. I mean, I'd probably prefer a monorail than uh, walking on my own. But still, let's go see what we can see from the treetop trail. The, uh, the first animal we've seen from the pathway is the Tuckin. You get a pretty cool overhead view of the buffalo. You can see the little buffalo. See the, one of the camels hanging up over there, off in the distance. Also, one weird thing about this pathway, it's made of like recycled materials. So anytime you like touch the railing, you get a shock. I think the first animal you could really get a better view from the platform is the pronghorns. You get a good view of the Asian wild horses from up here as well. Uh, I will say the zoo definitely has some very, very large enclosures. Look at how, how much room these animals have to roam. There's some very pretty swans. Didn't see this on our walkthrough earlier. There is a pathway that takes you through this marsh area. I don't think there's any animals, but it's a really pretty section of the walk. I take the back, there's, uh, there's one horse. He just made horse noises. I think he wants to go inside. Trot, 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 trot. There's another pretty section. A big lake. You can see the tiger wandering around over there. I didn't mention the rock work earlier, but the tiger rock is, yeah, it's pretty cool. And yet another big giant lake. One thing I do want to mention with the Minnesota Zoo is it seems like they have plenty of room if they want to expand the zoo. Um, this is not a the overly expensive zoo to get into. It does cost $22 to get in. So obviously there's not going to be a ton of money coming into the zoo. Uh, some of their food and beverage stuff does get very pricey. Like I bought a big can of soda. It was $5.35. But yeah, if they want to expand, they could definitely do so. Also, when we're talking about pricing, um, if you're a member of a different AZA zoo, you do get your reciprocal discount. So Molly and I got in for $11 a piece. 